To truly understand proper whole body vibration training, let's first describe what makes this groundbreaking method unique. Whole body vibration training, when done on a high acceleration platform, is a means to simulate an environment of increased gravity. In doing so, our bodies are forced to grow stronger and leaner. With that in mind, let's discuss gravity and its relationship with our bodies. The force of gravity not only determines the early development of the human body, but how well we maintain it as we age. Preserving the integrity of the body involves maintaining muscle strength, bone density, and optimal cardiovascular and nervous system performance. Gravity, or gravitation, is a force that attracts all physical matter and pulls the universe together. All objects, including human beings, have a gravitational field. The strength of a gravitational field is proportional to an object's mass. Due to the mass of the Earth and its much higher amount of proportional gravity, we can only experience this force being exerted on our bodies. This is what's known as the pull of the Earth's gravity. It is the pull of the Earth's gravity that causes us to drop back down to the ground when we jump, fall when we are off balance, require medical attention for arthritis pain that occurs when we are standing and walking, and perhaps most dramatically, struggle climbing stairs and getting up from the floor as we grow older. Do we actually feel the force of gravity? Our bodies cannot actually feel gravity's presence or its force. The only indication of its existence is what we refer to as contact force, or the more apt term, pushback, caused by gravity. The contact force is felt by the pressure that the Earth places on us when it pushes back into our bodies. This pressure is felt, for example, when we are standing. When sitting, we feel the pushback of the chair against our buttocks. An even more illustrative example is walking. The pushback of the contact force is the pressure placed on our legs as our feet alternately hit the ground. If we land harder, the contact force is greater. If we land softer, it is lessened. How do our bodies perceive the contact force created by gravity? There are incredibly complex systems of nerve receptors throughout our bodies. Among them are a group known as proprioceptors that permeate our muscles, ligaments, and tendons. These nerve cells are constantly relaying information about the amount of gravity acting on our bodies and the contact force it creates. They relay this information through our nervous system to our brain. With this information, our brain determines many things, including how hard and fast our muscles have to work, how dense our bones need to be to support us, and how well our hearts need to pump to deliver oxygen and nutrients as well as remove waste. In essence, all the necessary information needed to sustain our lives and maintain the body's integrity. This system is what enables a baby to develop the strength to sit up, the ability to stand up, to walk, and eventually to run and jump. It is also the same system that causes the harmful loss of muscle and bone, as well as the dangerous changes to the cardiovascular systems of astronauts when they travel to lower gravity environments such as the moon, where gravity is one-sixth that of the Earth. For these astronauts, among the earliest and continued users of whole body vibration training, this equates to one-sixth the contact force being placed on their body, thus signaling to the brain that only one-sixth the amount of muscle, bone, and circulation is needed to sustain life. What do we have in common with astronauts? While most of us have never stepped foot on the moon, we have done an excellent job convincing our brain that we are there. Through our increasingly sedentary lifestyles and countless hours in front of our computers, we have stopped moving and, as a result, significantly reduced the amount of gravity acting on our muscles and bones. More specifically, the amount of contact force acting on the muscles and bones of our legs and spine. As a result, as we age, like astronauts on the moon, we experience a gradual loss of muscle, or sarcopenia, a loss of bone density or osteopenia and osteoporosis, and reduced circulation leading to internal toxicity, swollen limbs or edema, and poor physical endurance. What can we do about this? To answer this question, let's think about what would happen if we sent an astronaut to Jupiter, where gravity is 2.5 times that of the Earth. 
On Jupiter, the pull of gravity would create two and a half times the contact force on their bodies. In time, their bodies exposed to these environmental variables would most likely develop larger muscles with which to move, denser bones for support, and a stronger heart to pump their blood against this increased gravity. They would also likely burn more fat to provide the energy needed to function in this environment. On Earth, the goal is the same. To fight against this physical decline, we must expose ourselves to higher amounts of gravity. Up until now, this has only been done in one way, through the use of weights. By using weights, we increase our body's total mass and therefore increase the strength of the force of gravity. As a result, the contact force on our body increases, telling our brain to make the necessary changes to our body so that we can successfully move with the weight. Unfortunately, however, the more weight we add or the older we are, the more likely we are to injure ourselves with this approach. This makes weightlifting as we grow older quite risky. It is for this reason that most individuals prefer to avoid loaded squatting or lunging or pressing heavy weights overhead. Fighting the long, exhausting battle against gravity as we age or if we are physically disabled becomes increasingly frustrating and leaves some people feeling hopeless. Well, what if there were another way to increase gravity? A safe, fast, and clinically supported means to increase the contact force on your body. A way to increase the upward pressure of the ground on your body. This is the real science behind whole body vibration training. Through the upward movement of a high acceleration platform against our body, we experience a higher contact force. Like the first moments when an elevator moves up under our feet and we feel heavier, this upward platform movement simulates a higher gravity environment and therefore, like on Jupiter, forces our muscles, bones, and cardiovascular system to grow stronger. With a proper high acceleration platform system, creating up to 25 times the contact force of the Earth, these effects have been shown to occur with less than 30 minutes of exposure per week. Most importantly, there have been no adverse side effects documented throughout more than 16 years of international research. As the research behind proper whole body vibration training continues to expand, so will the evidence of its safety and effectiveness for battling the physical effects of aging.